Uh, we organised the event today to really gather some, uh, some momentum behind our sludge or bioresources plans. We recognise we've got a huge challenge with efficiency in this area and a huge opportunity in terms of our environmental contribution to the company. Well, what we really want from suppliers is to think innovatively, to think collaboratively and to come up with solutions that are going to give our customers the best value for their bioresources services. So we've got a very buoyant um, innovation um, department within the business. We, uh, in this AMP period, this five-year period, we, uh, we've got a £27 million R&D budget. Uh, but on the back of that, we've got to, uh, we're stimulated to deliver an eight to one benefit. So that's a quarter of a billion pounds worth of benefit. Uh, that we're trying to realise from that investment, which then passes back to our customers. Uh, I think Yorkshire Water have set their aspiration to be the frontier water company in the UK, uh, which is a big aspiration, but one that at the moment, from what I've seen in the industry and the things that they're doing, not only in bioresources, but in leakage and whatever, I think they're well on track for being that, and we clearly want to be involved with that. Yorkshire Water really has to start thinking differently and working differently with the market. So, tier one contractors, deliver a product and that's really important and they deliver a certain output but we recognise that by, through being innovative and working with SMEs and innovative organisations we're going to get a different result. That may mean that we're pairing up tier ones and SMEs and that's what this event's all been about, about making connections and putting organisations together.